Good morning! Today is Wednesday. I leave for New York City tomorrow. It's 7.09 a.m. I have my shake. I found a way to keep this. I just have to go to the gym. I have to get here at 6. Which is fine. I was getting here like 6.37, so like not much of a thing. So we got that. Great start to the day. Today is stressful. It's not. Today's very exciting. Yesterday was an amazing day. Uh, Corey freaking killed it on his morning stream. Tom came in, killed it on his afternoon stream. I went on Whatnot, killed it on the Whatnot stream. Fantastic day. We also uploaded a video that's performing well. Our short form content is doing great. Um, the merch... Okay, listen, let me give you one sneak peek of the upcoming. This is the most excited I have ever been for a homemade product, like a merch related product. What, what do I show you? What do I show you? How about I show you, cause I already, here, I already put this on my Instagram story. So this is, this is like already kind of public, but here, look at this. There's this. I don't know if it's going to focus. Okay. I'll give you one product peak one product peak right here. that's all you get right there right right there it's not focusing one product peak that's it that's all you get to see the rest you'll be able to see in about two two and a half months and trust me when i say this it's so sick it's so sick so that's super cool so we did that yesterday today today's a little stressful today basically i'm having to i'm tasked with figuring out how to make the business work <laughs> That's every day. The big thing today is is kind of attempting to calculate our operating expenses with our new streamers, um, with our employees, with our with our costs of of like operating. I kind of need to figure all that out so that I can understand how much money Mystic Rips needs to generate in a month with an average with our average profit margin uh, in order to break even on our costs. I'll give you a number on what I'm estimating, just so you can understand how much is going into this rips business right now how expensive it is to run and how difficult <laughs> how hard of a time i'm having keeping this business moving forward and and ultimately profitable i don't think it's going to be a hard thing to be profitable in a couple months time from now but right now it's difficult building there you're lucky these are the early days of the vlogs and not many people watch so i can be a little bit more lenient with what I share. But it's looking like I am estimating Mystic Rips needs to generate somewhere around $160,000 in revenue per month just to break even um, on all of our operating costs and expenses. Now, granted, that does include everything. That includes uh, like all of the like equipment and shipping fees and boxes and stuff like that. It includes all of our uh, employees pays and bonuses. It includes everything, but rips will have to generate somewhere around $160,000 per month just to break even. That is well over a million dollars a year. How much is that? So let me do the math. So it's an expensive business to run, um, pretty expensive business to run. But the thing is I, our operating expenses have kind of ballooned over the last, I'd say three months. And it's mainly because like we moved into a new office and we're still technically paying for the old office. We're trying to like get out of that situation. We should be out this month at the latest next month. So that's going to free up a ton of, uh, of like liquidity for us, which is huge. Well, not a ton, but maybe a ton, but also we brought on some new employees, some full-time employees. We brought on some other people who are helping and working with it. Um, obviously we have like a new office, which is expensive, parking's expensive, it's all kind of expensive. So what the goal is right now is basically to catch our revenue up to our spending um, because I basically put us and the company in a place where we're able to generate several hundred thousand dollars a month, hopefully, is the goal. But in order to do that, we needed a couple of things. You know, we needed more space, we needed an office, we needed multiple rooms for multiple streams. Um, we needed a big room for shipping. We needed a full-time employee for shipping. We needed multiple, still need multiple full-time streamers. Um, we need me with time freed up so that I can focus on company strategy and focus on content and marketing. We need somebody on product acquisition, which I'm doing now. Um, you know, we need a lot of, we still need a couple of things in order to like get to the several hundred thousand dollars a month place. But it's funny because like I watch my buddy uh, Pokey NE. I would look at him if you guys want to learn anything about e-commerce, especially for Pokemon cards. Pokey NE is a freaking goat, but he sells anywhere between probably two hundred fifty to four hundred fifty thousand dollars a month on Pokemon cards for Pokemon cards, and he uh, he runs his business out of his home. It's him and like one other employee, maybe a, a second helper maybe. And the dude's rocking like 350 K average a month. That's insane. Meanwhile, we've got, we've got a very large team, <laughs> you know, 
just trying to just trying to scratch towards that that two hundred thousand quarter million. But I don't know. I'm very optimistic because it's my company. But I definitely do believe Mr. Grips is in a place where we like ultimately the goal. I like the big goal is to be generating a million dollars a month. Um, it's like kind of like what we're what we're like slowly aiming towards and working towards. And so far, all of the goals that we've been aiming at and working towards, we've hit. Um, so we'll see how long it takes us to get to that. But I don't think it will take long. The hard part is when you look at a lot of the other businesses uh, that do numbers like that in the space that I'm operating in, it's not that they're like doing anything like illegal or inherently wrong, but their prices definitely don't correlate to market prices. Um, and they maybe don't have the most favorable uh, like look or upon like in the community. So like the hard thing is balancing like we want a big, profitable, great company. We also want to make amazing content we want those to exist differently. Oh, this has been a whole thing. Jesus Christ. I've been calling with other... So, mosquito. I've been calling with other streaming companies and platforms and stuff, and everybody wants a piece of the content. Like, everybody wants wants YouTube advertising content. And, and honestly, I could make, and Mr. Groups can make, way more money if I was willing to just sell out the YouTube channel. But what I will say, what I will not do, and what I've learned over the last couple of months with Mystic Rips is that the YouTube channel needs to kind of exist on its own. It needs to be about just making fun videos that I enjoy making, that the team enjoys making, uh, doing cool things, making videos about interesting stuff. Basically what I do for Pokemon Go, we need to do for the Mystic Rips YouTube channel at a very core fundamental level. It needs to be about collection, community, and just kind of overall enjoyment. And that's how I'm gonna keep that, and I really don't don't want to use the YouTube channel as like a mega marketing tool like I used it last year, which garnered a ton of negative feedback, rightfully so. So like trying to figure that out on like, how do we leverage our brand to get us to where we want to go in terms of business, but also like not sacrifice like our, our prices, our morals, our content, our passion for the hobby and for community. Like we're trying to figure out a way to make all of that work at the same time. I, and I have a lot of people in the comments, keep talking here. I have a lot of people in the comments who are kind of like, oh, like, you know, just, just, you know, it's a, it's a hobby. Like do it like for like the passion. And it's like, well, okay. So playing Pokemon Go is a hobby, right? But I have made it a business for myself. So it, I look at it very differently and it operates very differently and it works very differently in my head. I don't look at Pokemon Go like, oh, this is a video game that people play for fun. I'm going to go out and play for fun. It's like, no, that's, that was, that was years ago. I look at Pokemon Go like, okay, this is my job. I enjoy my job, which is great. It's still hard. I still don't want to do it sometimes, but like at the end of the day, this is my job. It is my job to get up, go out, make a great Pokemon Go video, record content. That, that's like work for me, you know? So like when I look at like Pokemon cards in the TCG community, I wouldn't be pursuing it if I wasn't extremely interested in it and if I didn't have a lot of fun with it, right? Because like I'm in the fortunate position where like I can kind of do what I want with my time outside of Pokemon Go and I can free up a lot of time outside of Pokemon Go and I've decided to do this rips thing. I have a lot of fun with it. I love the Pokemon card side of it. I like the community part side of it as well. It's just like a lot of amazing people in the community, especially that I meet at conventions. Same with Pokemon Go. I think Pokemon Go is one of the best communities in gaming. I think Pokemon cards, especially the in-person community, is fantastic for cards. It's just good people, uh, a lot of families. It's like really cool and really wholesome. I love that. I like Disneyland for the same reason. It's just like a really cool, kind of beautiful, wholesome, family-centric place. I just think there's something like inherently beautiful about that. So it's got that. There's a lot of passion in it. There's a lot of excitement around it, but it definitely also at the same time is a business. And I have to think about Pokemon cards and content and the community. I've got to think of it like a business person, you know? Because again, I said this before, if the Mystic Rips business fails, the Mystic Rips content fails with it. Um, and, and the Mystic Rips community ceases to exist. And I don't want any of that to happen because we have some really, really cool community oriented events. Again, I think I mentioned this. We're basically going to try to team up with a local card shop um, and host monthly like meetups and events there where we basically just like do challenges, give away like hundreds or thousands of dollars in product, do like meet and greets and hang out on a monthly basis, you know, more like pro community type stuff. I think we should like be doing more. Um, so we're gonna do that and like all that kind of stuff, conventions, giveaways, like all this cool stuff. It only works if the business is working and I have to think about the business like most of the time throughout the day. So that's a lot of talk. It's 10 minutes in and I will vlog the rest of this will be more fun vloggy stuff around the office, but I kind of had a lot on my mind in terms of like the Mr. Grips business that I wanted to share. For all of you looking to start your own business, this is the stuff you got to think about, especially as you scale it. Because again, we're going from a million dollars in our first year to trying to do $5 million in our second year. That is a 5X year over year growth. That's crazy. So 
we'll see how it goes. But yeah, GG's, I am going home. I'm gonna eat my protein shake because I haven't been able to sip it yet. And I'll see you in the office. Okay, welcome to the after a stream. So here's the deal. I'm realizing that the Mystic Rips team on shipping were way behind on shipping, like way behind. But it's no one's fault. Uh, it, the, what the problem is is that we're just selling so much more right now, which is an awesome problem to have. Um, like we're really, really upping our sales power, which is great. And we had the new set released this week and we've been kind of going crazy on that. We had a big weekend. So it's going really, really well, which is why the shipping side is falling behind. So what we're doing right now is I basically have moved, I might've explained this. We moved Jake's responsibilities over a little bit and I kind of absorbed a little bit more responsibility so Jake can help with the shipping. And then today I moved my schedule around a bunch so that I can help the shipping team with shipping for maybe like an hour or two um, so that we can finish out all of the shipping that needs to get done today. Um, so Jake and I are gonna freaking power up, power team with Corey, shipping Corey, and we are gonna get everything done. So if you've been waiting on an order, to ship out from our side of things. Don't worry, it's going out. This week, today, it's happening because we're freaking powering it through. So we're definitely still trying to figure out uh, how to make all this work as we scale up because we're starting, we're gonna bring like another streamer on next week possibly. But the problem is we can't afford technically another person to help with shipping. So we gotta figure out how to solve that. So this is uh, the fun parts of business of you have to do something to create more problems that you are not able to hire more to solve. So you have to figure it out yourself. So, ha. Ah. So, uh, right now what I'm doing is cleaning the office up. Typically I'd be like doing other things, but right now we need Jake and Corey to be focused on shipping when they get in today. So I'm going to clean the office. So basically I'm going to, uh, break down all of these boxes and then I'm going to take out all of these ETBs, these brand new ETBs, and we're going to rip them for packs. I'll show you the promo cards inside. They're amazing. Got to throw all this away. And then this is where I'm going to be breaking down ETBs. So, the work begins. I'll show you the after. Show you the aftermath. This is before and after. We've got all of the ETB trash. We got all of this random excess stuff that we donate. We've got obviously all of these amazing Temporal Forces booster packs, the promo cards, which look insane. Here's the Fluttermane. These look so good. Fluttermane and then the Iron Thorns, which were cards you could pull in the Japanese versions of these sets, uh, but in English, they're promo cards. So Iron Thorns, uh, and then we got all of these sleeves as well. So that's done. Okay, boom, cheers. I broke down all the boxes. All the trash is bagged up. This area is clean. The ears packs right here from all of the BTBs. We've got all this organized. Whatnot room is cleaned. Where'd that box come from? I'll get that in a second. Whatnot room's pretty much cleaned up. Corey's killing it. And I gotta do some stuff in here. Oh boy, Jake just walked in with a lot. Something insane. And honestly, extremely bittersweet. This is, these are the big pieces of vintage from the collection that we bought. This is stuff that we have kept in our personal collection that we yeah, no, 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 no. didn't Let's want to sell. Because inside of here, this is a legendary collection booster box. One of the greatest sets ever made. I'm gonna open this up really carefully because inside we have, do you know how many packs we have? Oh my god. We've got a ton of sealed, unweighed, legendary collection booster packs. Some of the best ever, and some of the most expensive too. These We're going to sell these. They're not going to be cheap. And then we've got our Skyridge booster box, and inside here we have... Oh, there's only a little bit left. Man. We've got... Honestly, this is a really nice stack of Skyridge booster packs. Again, one of the best sets ever printed, some of the best packs ever made. And we're probably going to be selling uh, nearly the rest of these as well. I might, I'm definitely, de this is part of the, this is like the, the last of the million dollar collection. I'm definitely keeping some of my personal collection. Um, oh, and we have, we have this over here too. We have like this. We have this acrylic as well, which has some of the other packs from the million dollar collection, the vintage packs. So we're going to probably list and sell those too. But bittersweet day in the office because some of the best packs that we have kept sealed 
And in our vault, it is time to sell these. You kind of got to think, you know, if we have like, let's say we have $20,000 uh, in vintage and we're keeping it sealed. Why are we keeping it sealed? Because it's cool, because we like it, because um, we think it's going to appreciate over time. All of these are true and all these are real, but like realistically speaking, like, if we were to sell the $20,000 in vintage in a month, what we can do with that money over six months is probably way more than uh, the rate at which the pack value would appreciate over the next six months. So just gotta like, unfortunately, this is like the part of like running a business versus being a collector. Um, gotta think about the business, the health and survival of the business. And unfortunately, it requires us to sell our uh, our like back stock vault of vintage that we bought. We spent my, we bought these to sell. We bought them to bring them to the shop and sell them. I didn't want to sell them because I wanted to keep them in the PC forever because they're so cool. But again, uh, you know, difference between being a business and a collector. As a collector, you can keep things and sometimes sell them. As a business, you buy to sell. So we're still going to keep some in the personal collection, but like a couple packs. Uh, and the rest of it we will be selling. So if you wanted to get some vintage, some insane high quality legendary collection, my hair is so annoying today, oh my God. Some insane high quality legendary collection in Skyridge vintage packs. We're selling them on TikTok and whatnot. Um, I doubt we're gonna sell all these this week, but a lot of it will probably fly this month. So just know that that's available, but that's insanely bittersweet. But again, kind of going back to what we were talking about earlier, we run a business here. It's not just a YouTube channel. It's not just me collecting packs. This is a business with employees with a lot of expenses um, and big vintage plays like this help keep the business alive and fuel it forward. So we got to sell it, but you know, is what it is though. Again, going to keep some of the PC and check this out though. It just looks insane. It just, it, we have so many packs. There's so, there's nearly an entire booster box of LC. That's insane. And Skyridge as well. We still have so many of these beautiful green Skyridge packs, but <sighs> bittersweet. Okay. So here is all of our vintage. We have 20 packs of Legendary Collection. We've got Sky Ridge. We've got all this crazy stuff. And then we just had a Distro Order hit, which is right here. So we've got booster boxes of Temporal Forces and ETBs. Check these out. Heck yeah. Boom, we are 100% stocked up on our Temporal Forces. These are all of the booster boxes, all of the ETBs. Sick, let's get it. Now I just gotta break down all these boxes. Honestly, it is super crazy that the vintage is going out. We were sitting on tens of thousands of dollars of vintage packs that we kind of just didn't want to sell, wanted to hold on to, see what happened. So it's now time to sell that. And it's kind of crazy. This is, I guess, one of the cool things with the Rips business is that over time, even though I have continued to be stressed about cash, like liquid cash, we have continued to maintain a really, really good position in, uh, in inventory. Like, you know, we have all of that vintage that we're finally listing. We've got new products in the works right now that we have sunk a bunch, like also like tens of thousands of dollars into um, that will be coming back pretty soon here. We've got the merch thing going on that we're gonna have to front cash for, but you know, like we're definitely not letting cash sit idle and just like lay around and do nothing. We're for sure putting it to work and continuously reinvesting uh, in product, in the business, in content, in like cool stuff. So I, I will say this has been a wild day for that reason. Wild day because we're listing that, but cool to know that we're not being like cash wasteful, you know? Hey, look at that. Clean once again. This trash pile is starting to get kind of crazy though, but. Okay, so now what my job is, it is 10, 11, 11 o'clock. I gotta go into the office and basically start prepping all of this, all this crazy vintage. I gotta get all of these into our Mystic Rips card savers, which we do sell, by the way. We sell these on TikTok, whatnot, and our own website district. These are super sick, high quality Mystic Rips dope stuff. So we've got those. Little ad, little hashtag ad, don't mind me. <laughs> but gotta finish doing all the vintage stuff. We have, oh, look at that, Pikachu. Lieutenant Surge's Pikachu, nice, dude. Old school, man. That's before Chonky Peak. Wait, no, wait, no. Wait, I don't know what's going on there. Okay. Then we have Misty's Horsey. Magikarp, okay, that one looks beautiful. We got the, okay, what's going on with Oddish? What's going on with Oddish, dude? That looks like it, it just like came out of a porta potty, dude. What's going on with that Oddish? 
Look at that. He was like, oh, hey, you got me. <laughs> like, dude, Oddish, we can't leave you alone for a second. Lulu, Lulu, thank you for the follow. And then we have the Hollow Team Rocket. Hollow Team Rocket. There we go. There we go. Guaranteed hollows in every pack. Team Rocket's rocking. Congratulations. Boom. So this is why I got confused. Because this one also had the rare on the bottom. That was sick. So what that was, Tom just opened up a guaranteed hollow Japanese vintage pack. Which is super duper dope. So that was cool. Alright, Corey. What are, we doing? what are we doing right now? Put in all your freaking private training hands to work <laughs> let's go all right so i'm hopping with Corey to help him finish up shipping while tom what are you doing yo i am packing up a bunch of 151 right now oh dude oh like dude crispy clean dude speaking of 151 we hit our distro to see if we get more we can't oh. <laughs> we're gonna look for more we're still looking for more we'll find some oh, cool. <laughs> okay so we're gonna where did Corey go oh there he is okay okay all right, let's ship. Let's go. All right, next uh, cup of matcha on the day. Technically number three. Gotta get the foam in there, yeah. Okay, we are moving through it. Corey, how's it going? Honestly, we're zooming. This is sick. <laughs> yeah, it's nice with two people. This is great. Yeah. We made some crazy progress, to be honest with you. Look at all, look at all these boxes. And there's, there's some in there, too. We're filling it up, dude. So we've got uh, we've got these to go through. We do then have all of these to go through. That's going to take a minute, and then we've got this to go through, too. So it's going well. And then we got Adam Rippin. Heck yeah! And then over here we've got Tom Rippin. So we're freaking. It is a grind. And then we have Jake doing. God knows what Jake does over there. Hi, Jake. He's working hard. He's working hard. He's working hard. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, Corey. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Dude, I've never seen my hands. Dude, the Celsius, I'm like. <laughs> yep, yep. Celsius matcha, this is a well-caffeinated office as it as it should be. Yeah, it? absolutely. All right, dude, let me get a little bit about your background in the Pokemon space. Okay. Oh, just the... Just yeah, the, yeah, no, yeah no. dive in there, dive in there. Uh, like, like your your experience with, like, Pokemon cards, because you're, like, you're, like, into it. You're, you're about it. I am, I am. Um, I claim Gen 4, Sinnoh is my region for sure. And you played the Sinnoh tour. I did play the Sinnoh tour, being oh, yeah. back here, working with everyone. I got back into Pokemon Go. Let's go. Um, you know, I played, on, looking at my, dude, I, I started in 2016, then I fell off, then uh, 2020 picking back up because that was cool, and then I fell off again, and being back here, I'm back in it. You asked me about Pokemon cards. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, 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 give me the whole Pokemon rundown. I'm yeah, in. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I was... To date myself, I'm born 1999. I was born the year base set came out, you know, to the nice. states basically. So yep. my car like era I claim is like the hardcore soul silver era. I like I showed you my Sick, my yes. PC, you know, yep. um, and I, there's a like my prize cards are like the uh, Espeon Prime and like the uh, my half of a Rayquaza Deoxys card. Yep. So, but. I, like Pokemon's always been a part of my life. I've it's something I've always just like gravitated to. I think that's one of the first games my parents gave to me on my Game Boy Advance. You know, Sick. and it just just kind of never left. But the card wise, yeah, I was I I feel like everyone has a Pokemon card phase. You know, it's so easy to collect, and they're just like little creatures that are nice. Almost like they're crazy, like. A dragon one. Oh, oh right. The freaking wow! I, I think, I, think I saw a, they get pulled. Yeah, this was like a one pack snipe. This is yes. from a Gibby. This is from a Gibby. I think that was a, that was literally this free. Is free. Pack. Yeah. <laughs> this is free. Yeah. Somebody pulled that for free in our stream. Let's freaking go. That's crazy. W. <laughs> okay. Wait. So, you. Yeah. So I mean, fell off of Pokemon cards for a bit. You know, just going going to high school and stuff. But yeah, I was kind of out of it, and then. Disney's Lorcana came out, and I like I was talking about this in my interview with you guys that yeah. I got big, got back into it in like October last year because I went to my as an adult, as a grown person, going into like the LGS for the first time yeah, and yeah, yeah. seeing like all of these Pokemon booster boxes. And I'm an adult now, so I was like, I have money, I can afford these things. <laughs> and that was like the week Obsidian Flame dropped, uh -huh. right? So then I was like, oh my goodness, like I'm gonna cop. Like I I went to I found a 
I found an LGS in my town and I went to the store and I bought one booster box and I got like the SA, not, I got the, the, the full art Charizard, not even the gold one and not even an hour later, bro. I went back and bought my second booster <laughs> box and I've been locked in ever since. Yep. Second box, I pulled my the SAR Charles from Sitting in Flames. I know Obsidian in Flames gets a lot of black, but like I think it's a good it's entry. A set. It's a great fun set. set. It's yeah. a great entry set. Oh, look at me, right? Like it completely locked me back in because yeah, the pull rates might be high, but for someone, you know, who just like wants to get in it and just like see cool cards, I think Obsidian in Flames is great. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, like I I'm back in and I've been just loving I I never not love Pokemon cards, but it's just been like you know, I I, I, I kinda like um get hyper fixated on things, but this is something yep. that like just has ceased to leave and like because once again I've always, always loved Pokemon and now just being here and just like handling cards like exactly just like holding that like ancient roar sar i'm right. like it's not mine but i'm like wow that's so cool Pack right. it, like, throw it. it's in the box now yeah. you know but <laughs> it's just cool to see and it's it's so fun and you're awesome jake's awesome hey, tom's awesome man. and just it's been, it's been awesome sick dude sick and i ran into you in santa monica during a raid day <laughs> which was so funny yes that so was you're like what? You're like back. Are you back in Pokemon Go proper? Or are you kind of just? Like, I'm back in proper. Right, am I gonna see you Sunday? This Sunday for Groudon? Dude, I'll be in New York if you want to come by. Yeah. Oh yeah, you will be. <laughs> but are you? Are you actually? Are you gonna do? It's Saturday, right? I think it's Saturday. Dude. It's Saturday. Okay, maybe Saturday or Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Okay, wait. I have to check that. that yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure might, this weekend. This yeah, yeah sure definitely this weekend. This weekend. This sure this I weekend. should be playing, but let's go. Yeah, dude. I played. I played Kyogre. Kyogre was good. Yeah, Kyogre was good. Oh, I've always been a ever. Groudon guy. Over Kyogre, really? Yes, but now I'm like, no, Kyogre is sick, dude. Kyogre yeah. Is awesome. Yeah, yeah, so, that, okay, sick then, sick. And then with Pokemon cards, do you have like a favorite card or like a favorite set? Is it Obsidian Flames? No. <laughs> okay. I mean, okay. I was just like, okay. No, it is absolutely not Obsidian Flames. Okay. Um, my favorite modern set right now is probably, dude, 151. 151 yeah, yeah. Really? Is, okay. Is is pretty goaded, but like, I think one of the cards. So I'm a I'm a big fossil Pokemon guy. So one of my dream chase cards is the Aerodactyl from Lost Origin. Yes, dude, that one's what that that is my favorite, my favorite Altar card. Because like I'm a big fossil Pokemon guy. Then like, dude, that card looks like Jurassic Park. You well, know? Yeah, yeah, like in yeah. like it's just like literally if you look in, you see all the fossil Pokemon just like running around. And yeah, so I think Lost Origin is pretty up there for me as like one of my favorites as well, for sure. For Sick, sure. okay. Mm -hmm. Tight, dude. Tight. Do you have like a favorite card that you've seen pulled here? Oh yeah, absolutely. The Mewtwo test tube. Oh without yeah, doubt, right. Shout <laughs> it out. I was I was with Tom sitting in there helping him like sleeve up cards, and he pulled it. You know what's really weird and like super Mandela effect to me, bro? What? what? I swear that it was like Mewtwo Y in the tube. You know, like X, like there's, you oh, know, right, right. I swear, like, uh, I, yeah. because I think it's, I think it's the way that Mewtwo is like folded over. He kind of looks like Mewtwo X, no, no, Mewtwo Y, where when I looked at the car, I was like, wait, this is just a Mewtwo? Tom's so like, yeah, no, it's just Mewtwo. And I was like, really? I always thought it was like a Mewtwo Y card in the two. Uh-huh. But no, it's just Mewtwo. No, just regular, regular yeah, Mewtwo. just regular out. Mewtwo. But yeah, no, seeing that card in person, cool. Was literally one of my favorite times for sure. <laughs> so what are you saying? I get more of these too. Okay, they're doing work. Uh, That's Corey. Can we get some I love you, Corey's in the comments. Just wanted to film this because we're freaking doing it right now. So, Jake, wait, Jake, wave. Jake's over there. So, Jake's running that. Corey's next to me. I'm over here freaking three manning, tag teaming the shipping situation right now. We got through multiple, technically, one what, big whatnot show. We're getting through a second whatnot show. We've got all this stuff from TikTok from yesterday we're about to get through. We got freaking another whatnot to another whatnot show. We're running it. We're killing it right now. So typically it's just Corey doing this. Yeah. And then Jake will jump in to help. We are we've been going crazy lately. So all three of us are tagging it. It's working. How is it with all three of us? Dude, we are honestly killing it, dude. Oh, I'm just getting ready for the I shipped out five streams video. Where, like, Corey's cropped out of the uh, cropped out of the frame. Like I did it all by myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. Gotta get the views, baby. <laughs> Grind it. Oh my god. We are opening up Neo Genesis thanks oh. to Love Running in stream. They got both of our Neo Genesis here on TikTok. Are you ready? Let's get it. This Emigenium, let's get it. It's beautiful, you're beautiful. I have to be very delicate with these. This is like I was a kid again. Opening up these. 
I have to make sure I get the triangle at the top. Oh, okay, okay. Or we just fall apart like tissue paper. <laughs> There's that too. So let's go ahead and preserve the pack as best as possible. Make sure we don't see any, show anything there. Hey, old vlog. Hold my breath. Okay, let's just open it up over here, down here. Respect the pack. Respect the pack. There it is. Okay. Let's go. We get some fire emojis in chat. I need everyone to spam the fire emoji in chat, please. Let's get okay. some freaking hype. The four leaf clover emoji. Preserve the pack. The pack is still beautiful. All right. It's one to the front, and it should be an energy. Here we go. Let me just show you. It is. <laughs> it's Lugia. Water energy. Please Lugia God. does like the water. Please, God. Here we go. Water energy. Look at that Letaba art, dude. That is literally nostalgia blasting in our faces. What? Meryl. <laughs> Meryl water. Cyndaquil Ooh. again. Getting the starter. That could be a good sign for Typhlosion. We got the Onyx in a cave. Creepy. Screech and Rage. We have Shuckle. Y'all know what what we don't do with Shuckle. We don't Shuckle with Shuckle? We don't Shuckle with Shuckle. Double Gust, dude. Look at how sad this guy is. He's like, I don't Gust me. <laughs> and he's like, haha, gets Gusted, clown. All right, sorry. <laughs> Milton. Ah. What's cool about this is there's Tauros hidden in the back. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, look at that. Hiding back Does there. Does Tauros know where the milk comes from? He's, he's looking right now. <laughs> fluffy! So we got the Mareep, and then the Fluffy, okay? It's, you pronounce it Fluffy? Yeah, because it's like, bah, Fluffy. Oh! <laughs> it's two A's. Wait, how do you say, what's it, what does it evolve from? Uh, Mareep? You don't say Mareep? No, because it's not two A's. <laughs> it's okay. not two A's. There it is! <laughs> and then we have... The, the, red, the letter's correct. Oh. Togepi! I almost fell over. I thought that was a rare. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this one I think is the rare. I could be wrong. I think this is it. Here we go. From Neo, it is... The oh, Hall! We get a Hall! Let's, Let's go! go, baby! Woo! Hall of Steelix! Steelix is such a good one. You can barely tell if there's a swirl or not on this guy because it's in such a dark cave. But <laughs> my god, dude! Beautiful! Let's go, Love Robin! W's in chat! Look Hollow. at the quality of the card. Wow. That is gorgeous. Oh. GG's! W's! W's! Thank you, guys! Oh, my That's God. Fun. Good stuff. Good yeah. stuff. Hell, yeah. Wow. Good job, Love Robin. Hey, oh. good job, team. Going for the Meganium pack. That's insane. That's insane. Neo Genesis Unweighed Booster Pack. Got the hollow. Now we are doing the Team Rocket. Thanks to Love Running yet again. These packs are even just like... Even crispier, dude. This is from oh, yeah. 1999 to 2000. We're looking for freaking Charmanders, Squirtles, Evolutions, and a Charizard. What up, oh, Zach? Yeah. How you doing, bro? Okay, I'm just making sure I'm getting this nice and easily. There we go. Right here. Got to be delicate with the packs. Yeah, that freaking right. that Dark Vaporeon. So hot. It's so good, dude. So hot. Yeah, I pulled a lot of those in the Japanese vintage. Oh, really? Yeah, they're so Sick. good. Okay, look wow, at that. that is a crispy pack opening. Oh mm -hmm. my god. Mm -hmm. That's how they're supposed to be. The Neos exploded on me. <laughs> they, were, they were too crispy. Okay, it goes like this. So nice. what, is the, what is the rocket trick? Oh god, I forgot. Is it two? We want I, the rare in the back. Okay, we want the rare in the back. <laughs> I always forget what the trick is at, right after I open it up. Wait, chat. Everybody say hi to YouTube. Everybody say hi to the vlog. Say hi, vlog. Oh, he said one, the bad word. One chat. from the front. One from the front. Okay. He said the bad word. Are you sure that that's for the Japanese ones? Hip hop. All right, whatever. Oh, right, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we're already sitting pretty, chat. Oh, really? We have the Charmander. Oh, nice, nice, nice. The Rocket Charmander. Good choice on the Rocket because we get these bad boys in here. Got Charmander. Abra sitting on these uh, old architectural towers. The Psyduck! King of Quack, dude! There we go! King of Quack. We got the Ekans! The Mankey, which this, this art is just, that's just nostalgic as well. That just hits you right there. The Machop! Oh, that's it right there. That's the rare? That's, that's, a, yeah, that's the rare. So let's go see these guys. Okay, okay, yeah, go for the back. Okay. Zubat! All right. Trainer card. We got the digger. There we go. That's a do duo coming out, I think. Just like freaking out. I didn't know they lived in those. <laughs> oh, hey, you're right. Okay. This is it. Chad. 
The rare for the rocket. Best of luck. We got a hollow last time. What could this one be? The oh! oh, no, no way! way. Look go. at that beauty! Dude. Oh, good choice. Good choice on the rocket, bro. Oh, look at how no glistening way. that is. That's so sick. Do you see that? That is beautiful. Oh my gosh, dude. Congratulations <laughs> on the dark Let's go! Machine. And you had to go! Oh, okay. My <laughs> that, bad. That wasn't the last bag. Oh! Oh my that god. That was insane. Oh, there's like, more. And nightly garbage rock. Wow. <laughs> what? So what? Oh. Gonna be no, look at this Nintendo seal of quality right there. Oh, that's cool. It's got that and the Nintendo signature or whatever that is symbol right there. And it's a good camera angle. It's a great it's camera angle. You like, oh, you like that? There it is. <laughs> All right, there's no card trick for these ones. This is thank you to C. Riley. C. Riley, the OG. C. Riley, the GOAT. Oh, C. Riley's hitting C. this. C. Riley's Riley. hitting this bad boy right here. I believe. Oh. Crispy! Let's go, Crispy! Dude, Natasha Benfield's blessing this pack. Yeah, yeah, dude, it is. Look at that skinny, dude. Leaping out. Oh, I know you're a cat guy now, Brandon. Yep, this is me. Beautiful. Trico. Ooh, starter. One for Corey. Got a starter in there. Come on, see Riley. <laughs> Another skitty? Okay. Two skitties, dude. Can't okay. Die. All right. Rolls. <laughs> for something <laughs> in the distance. So close you can almost taste it. Release, Release your inhibition. Feel the rain on your. That is the reverse, right? Okay. Curly up. Okay. There we go. Is this it? No, there's more. Marshall! That is a sus Marshall, but he's cool. <laughs> that is sus as heck, but there we go. This is the reverse hollow. Okay. Right? Looks like a it. star. Uh -huh. Reverse Ooh. of wheezing, dude. Look at how <laughs> this oh, looks, dude. That looks insane. That looks almost shiny. Right? Almost. If it had the oh, pink the clouds, purple? that would be it. Okay, here we go. C. Riley, thank you for this, my dude. We are hoping for the Mewtwo, ladies and gentlemen, or any EX. Three, two, one. Sharpedo! Sharpedo. All right, GG. Sharpedo, rough skin, dude. GG. Look at that, bro. Sharpedo, Poke Body. Yeah, W's in chat. <laughs> W's in chat for C. Riley. Awesome, awesome oh, wheezing, oh, dude, as oh, well. Good God, dude. Awesome, awesome. Strong vibes. Bro. Strong vibes in the office tonight. Oh, this is for C. Riley, the legend. Sorry, I'm a whole mess here. You're good, my goodness. This is messy. C. Riley, are you freaking ready? Chat, I need some W's in the house right now. Please, God. Please, God. Hit me with a W. Somebody with a W in chat. Or a four-leaf clover emoji. And we're ripping this, right? We're for sure ripping this? 100%. Okay, we're definitely ripping this. All right. Out of the Mystic Rips card saver in the shop. Let's get it. Okay. This is it. EX Ruby Sapphire Pack. I need some four-leaf clover. Get some shiny luck in the chat, okay? We need some four-leaf clover emojis in the chat right now. All right. I need four leaf clover. I need shiny luck. I need your luck. There's no card trick, right? We just go straight through. No card trick, straight through. Okay. And Beautiful. The, there's like a reverse hull that is like looks like a rare as well beforehand. Okay. I will not get baited by the reverse hull. I need you to spam the four leaf clover emojis in chat. I need the luck. Four leaf clovers. Give me the shiny luck. All right, here we go. Zigzagoon, keep spamming those emojis. Zigzagoon. Puchiena. God, this is a cool set. I have not opened up much of this. We got the trainer, which we want to get early, so you don't get it later. Carvana. This is so sick, dude. Look at the art of this bad boy. He's pissed. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh! Wait, what? That wasn't supposed to be there. It's a holographic septile. Let's what? go! Wait, what? I thought there was no card trick. Let's go! Wait, there's there could be more? I'm confused. This is a rare? This is a rare. Dude, let's get it. What? what? Let me get some W's in chat, bro. We got the holographic septile out of EX Ruby Sapphire. This has definitely got to be one of the big hits, right? Well, yeah, it's got to be. This is a starter. Hollow starter. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, Can somebody sleep this? Yes. Can I hand this off to sleep? Yes. Oh, my gosh. That's beautiful. What else is in here? The Gold Vial? Oh, Screw it. Let's just get the whole evolution line. line. Get the whole family. We got the energy, the, the reverse metal energy card, which looks amazing. And the last one in the pack, we've got a Nose Pass rare. Oh my god, these packs go crazy. Bro, there's so many rares like inside. Rare? There, there's like multiple rares in this. That's crazy. Because the Nose Pass was the rare. It's got like the rare star. Right, right. Well, this is two, though. That's insane. Same. That's nuts. Wow, can we get some nuts? We got a hollow. Hey, Riley. Let's yeah. go. That's how we do it. 
That's how we do it. Holographic Sceptile. W's in chat. Oh, my God. Love to freaking see it. Hey, congratulations. Let me just slide this guy on back inside of the Mr. Grips card saver. 945 in the office. Face tracking's on. Freaking. All right. The, the trio finished shipping tonight. That was insane. Great yeah. job. Meanwhile, Tom was a monster over here in the stream room. Still a monster in the stream room. Dude. I will see you on well. Tuesday. See you Tuesday, dude. Have a safe trip. Yeah, thanks. Have a good weekend. Let's go. Hey, Tom's guys. murdering it. See you tomorrow. Good night, y'all. These lads are back tomorrow. I'll see you guys later. Oh, I'm walking yeah. out with you guys. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What? What? Hip hop is saying that's number one. For that was a big septile. He's going. That's number one. He's saying that's number. He's like spamming. It's number one. Wait, what does that mean? Number one. That's I don't. Biggest I, poll. Yeah, he's, he's in biggest poll. He's saying that's, that's number it. One. That's number one. That's number, number one. one. Number PSA, one. Wait, PSA, PSA ten. Okay. PSA ten. Fifteen hundred dollars at a PSA ten. Wow. Oh my god! Really? Okay. What? Brandon, does it again. Top hitting the set. Top hitting the set. W easy. I got you. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Oh, good Let's job. go. Good ball, my Thanks, god, dude. man. Holy, good we luck. Know what we had there. Whew. Let's go, see Riley. This was a crazy Let's day. Go, this was a crazy day. Good job, guys. Yup. See you guys later. Wow.